Prince William and Prince Charles gearing up to own all Meghan Markle-related issues. Prince William and Prince Charles will likely start taking back causes particularly close to the heart of young generations which have been championed by Meghan and Prince Harry, according to U.S. brand and reputation management expert Eric Schiffer. The California-based commentator noted the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have been able to appeal to millennials and Generation Z members with their approach to causes close to their heart, including equality and the protection of the environment. Prince William and Prince Charles have reportedly taken ownership of the issues involving Meghan Markle and are planning to target all their involved issues. This claim's been made by U.S. brand and reputation management expert Eric Schiffer. He was quoted saying, Charles, as he relates to the environment, is extremely well positioned because he was forward thinking and visionary about it years ago. He also added, and he is now highlighting that because he recognizes it's an important issue that matters. While Meghan and Harry had the early movers' advantage of being more wisely attuned to the needs of younger people, I expect the monarchy, in the form of William and Charles, to further attune and have greater affinity in their messaging and actions in ways that Meghan and Harry have owned for the last year. Meanwhile, experts believe Meghan Markle has been making a new rebranding effort that's requiring her to cut back on royal family mentions. This claim was made by royal commentators Rachel Bowie and Roberta Fiorito while dishing over Meghan Markle and Ellen DeGeneres' interview. While reflecting on it all, Miss Fiorito claimed, Meghan on Ellen, on the prank section, there wasn't really a royal reference made, besides her name. I felt that was a choice, where Meghan is moving on from that and she doesn't always have to be serious. For me, what was interesting was Meghan showing a different side. Her comedic side. Her acting side. She is really capable in that regard. It does demonstrate that. Miss Fiorito also chimed in at that point and added, the through line for this interview was that so much was about her pre-royal life. That feels like a new chapter for her. It feels like she is rebranding herself to be more about Meghan, the person she was before Harry. It's definitely a choice she has made. She talked about things she wasn't able to talk about in her royal life. She is definitely going to show more of herself going forward. This dynamic, Mr. Schiffer noted, will be greatly beneficial to the target audience both the Sussexes and the royals in the UK are focusing their attention on. He said, all of which is great for millennials and Gen Z, who want champions of these things. As noted by Mr. Schiffer, Prince Charles has been dedicating much of his work to raising warnings on environmental causes for more than 50 years. In February 1970, he delivered his first major speech on the environment, during which he warned about air and plastic pollution and deforestation. His sons Prince Harry and Prince William have also shown an interest in the environment over the years. The Duke of Sussex has worked in particular on conservation, as the patron of the charity African Parks, and discussed his concerns for the planet in an interview with Dr. Jane Goodall published on the issue of Vogue Guest edited by Meghan in 2019. The Duke of Cambridge has also worked on conservation, in particular through his patronage Tusk Trust.